Hello everybody and welcome to this Train Sim World 3 video. Today we are at Huddersfield in this Northern Class 158 four car unit and we're going to be taking it up to Leeds as you can see here. Um, here yeah, in Huddersfield this is the Northern Trans Pennine route. Uh, let's get the train set up. Uh, grab AWS there. Uh, headlights should be set already. It will turn GSMR on. There we go. And that should be everything more or less. Just wait for the um, uh, passenger loading sequence to finish and then we can get a move on. Right, nothing else needs doing, I don't think. Coach lighting on. But I'm pretty sure that was on already. But it certainly is now. I do kind of like that. That's, I mean, obviously the PIS isn't accurate, but it is quite cool how it automatically adapts. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether that changes to um, the next station, whether it automatically works out a service plan or not. It doesn't explain what the colours are. But... Uh, now what what is that? Penalty fare station, managed station, other operated penalty fare. I don't know what a penalty fare station is. Shut up. Right, let's get moving. Uh, what is the starting speed limit? 15 miles an hour. There should be a decent opportunity to throttle this thing around. We're going every station between here and Leeds, but it's not too far. See, I want to have a look. Does it say... This is Huddersfield. Okay. Oh, okay. Inside. Sure. All right, I'll check back on it periodically. Let's grab some screenshots whilst we're out here. It's not the best light for a screenshot because it's dark on the front. But You know, what can you do? Uh speeding a little bit. So okay, oh we can go up to 40. Alright, well let's do that then. No. What was that? 70? Might have been. We'll see. We shall see. We got the gradient to help us there. Yep, 70. Okay. And next station, Dayton, in 1.6 miles. So, on the journey today, we will be stopping at Dayton, Murfield, Ravensthorpe, Dewsbury, Batley, Morley, and Leeds City. Uh, there is one other service coming the other way, um, but there's nothing else, because I wanted to sort of simulate a provincial feel. And also, I was lazy. So, um, <laughs> that's that, I guess. Train's really shaking around a bit. It's a slightly unnerving, but I mean, I'm not running at line speed, so I won't uh, worry about any of that yet. Also, because this is the um, period route, there won't be any um, AWS, but more or less at all on this route. Are there, I'm not sure if there's a little bit in and out of leads, but there, there's certainly not much at all, um, if any. Coming up to 70 miles an hour. There it is. So I'll just kick the power off. Make sure I'm not over 70. Let's keep a little bit of brake one on. Full service. Step two. Where's the platform? There it is. Okay. There's 30. Now these are very short platforms, so I'd aim to hit them at sort of 10, 15 ish, which exactly 15 there. You can coast in on low, uh, low brake notch. Let's see how much of the train fits. I'm anticipating two or three coaches. 
So it looks like that's going to be the case. Try and pull the front as far up as I can. But not. Ah, okay. Oh well, the whole train's in the platform anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Can I have some more screenshots. Lovely. And let's see from the back of the train, just because there's a bit more light. There we go. And where's our friend at? Just there. He's a little he, she, it, whatever its pronouns are. Got to ask those questions these days, apparently. Um, just a little two-car unit racing down to Huddersfield. Should cross over at some point. Well, of course we're going to cross over at some point. Um, so, yeah. Should be a nice, quaint little run. Nice. Up to 70 straight off the bat. Love that track. Yeah, that... Not, not traction motors, just traction. Oh, I don't like that. Anyway, stream tomorrow, you should join. Uh, just go into the channel page and it'll be up there. There's upcoming live streams. Um, yeah, be there. It'll happen at a time. You can see when it happens by actually clicking on it. And um, it's a viewer's choose routes, so you get to choose what I play. Um, but I'm only doing it for British routes. So yes. Uh, also, with regards to uh, Peak Forest, I haven't got it yet. I will probably um, make a video on it on Sunday. Um, I'm feeling quite lazy, so... Yeah, it'll probably be Sunday. Um, provided no other news happens in that time. Okay, we have a left hand feather indication. So expecting a left hand junction routing. I presume that's what that 50 is indicating as well. It is quite sad seeing all of these, you know, former quad tracked sections that are now just relegated to measly regional lines because it's very clear that that used to be double track, uh, quad track. Because you can see where, you know, the quad tracking would have come in across here and continued. And it's very sad. I presume this would have been quad track as well. I mean, look at how much space there is here. And you can see how it's a quad track alignment, but... Yeah, it must have been speeding a lot. Oopsie poopsie. Oopsie. It's a dreadful shame. Right, bit of power coming upgrade. Okay, that looks all right. We can go up to 80 in the moment. Crossing the junk, I'm not speeding, am I? No. Okay, there we go, and up. up we go, and next stop is Murfield in 0.7 miles. Lovely. What's our frame rate? 110. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Full break now. Now, Murfield, if I remember correctly, is yeah, just that little island in between these tracks. So these must be the slow lines or local or whatever. And then the others are the fasts. It's quite a wide platform as well. I guess a lot of the old BR platforms were a bit wide. There's a lot of platforms on Tees Valley that are as well. And a lot else on this line. I don't know, I guess. Actually, I don't know why that... I mean, anyone can make a guess, I guess. 
Why do you think they're wide? Leave it in the comments below. Where's that junction where it... Ah, that's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and as soon as the whole train is in the platform... Oh, stop, 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 stop. It's snug there. Very snug. I presume it's wide so they can get the stairs up, I guess. But no, it's pretty, it doesn't take out that much space. Maybe it's because it used to be a much bigger and easier station. Clearly it isn't now. But sort of the decline of the north of, Eng the north of England has sort of occurred simultaneously with the... Um, decline of the railways but in recent years you know the north has been going relatively strong and sort of to do with investment in infrastructure speaking of which i see uh tpe has been taken up by um operator of last resort if anyone knows what that means give yourself a pat on the back if you don't it's um transpennine express will be renationalized um taken away from first group who were running it basically well I've read various things. I'm a very anti-privatisation, but one ha really has to acknowledge that renationalisation isn't the magical medicine that, you know, it's sort of snake oil um, of left-ish wing parties. I mean, it's something that should happen, but for Labour to go around saying this will fix the solution it's not entirely true it will fix a lot of the problems but not all of them um like in particular the tpe a lot of the issues with um why their trains were so delayed and so often cancelled was more to do with uh unions workers striking and well not striking but not working on their um off days not working overtime that sort of stuff um industrial disputes were the main cause and there's they, they won't cease um, under a government operator um, because the, the working conditions won't change and the timetable probably won't change short term so it'll be brought under government control which is a step towards renationalisation it will be interesting to see if the government tenders for um privatisation again because if you think um, operator of last resort also run um, southeastern and LNER and northern um, or LNER might be its own thing but the government runs um, now four passenger TOCs in Great Britain so it'll be interesting to see if when if well, hopefully it does come around, but when Network Rail gets rebranded to um, Great British Railways, um, be interesting to see if those TOCs remain in public hands or if they get um, franchised out on a concession again. The whole um, implementation of GBR will be quite interesting to watch. Um, I'm not holding my breath, but... Uh, should improve certain aspects of how the railway works hopefully oh, so close to fitting on the whole platform there so close and this is Ravensthorpe it's a reasonable stop for my standards as well they've just got Drewsbury, Batley, Morley and Leeds left where's our friend at? Da, da, da. Uh -huh. two stations up the line not too bad lovely old well not so lovely but condemned station building canopies falling apart huge piles of shit by the side of the line That might be where the um, double hour I use in my live streams comes from. I'm not sure. Might not be. Don't know. Shut up. Oh, locked doors. Okay. Let's get moving then. 
A little bit of a reduction there. K breaks off. Go. It does have a lovely engine revving up this thing. Really nice. I like it a lot. Okay. Drewsbury? Dewsbury? Who knows? Dew. But that that's how you. S is that. Dew. As in the stuff that forms on grass in the morning. Yeah, Dew. So I presume that's Dewsbury. I don't know. I might be reading too far into that. Are we still at 55? No, 60. Okay. Off the main line now, so we're no longer going at 80. Do we have to go back up? Not for the next six miles. That's all right. As I said, provincial feel. Provincial feel. I'll tell you what, though, it would be nice to be able to um, like hover over these and you know see or how far away they are on along the line here, sort of. Because in TS, if you press F1, it'll cycle through where the stations are located, overlaid onto the game, and how far they are, and when you're expected to arrive. And we, I, I do like this timetable here, but I don't like that you can't actually see how far away things are. Because it's good for sort of long-term planning, you know, unless you know the route, it's a bit harder to sort of go right well I'll need to be a bit more aggressive in this area and a bit I can afford to be a bit extra defensive here or you know I know this junction will be bad so I'll try and catch up on this long section because you don't know that unless you have good route knowledge which I'm starting to get on some of the routes uh, some of the routes I know really well some of them I know really badly some of them a lot of them I sort of understand sort of get the, the, the broad patterns but um, it, it's still quite a struggle to, if you do lose time, which you know happens to the to all of us at some point, um, it, it can be quite hard to try and recover that if you don't know um, how far the station's spacing is. Speaking of stations, we've just arrived at one. We are where? Dewsbury. Oh, I spent. 300 minutes talking about it, so. And here comes our friend. Better not run me over. Better not run me over. Tut, tut, tut. Also, I suspect this was at one point quad track? Are there extra bridges along? Well, maybe not. Perhaps this was just a um, through line in the middle. Yeah, that's probably what it was. That's a nice screenshot. Look at me being all artistic. We should see. Um, does the PIS still say this is Huddersfield? It does. Okay, so it doesn't work as well as I thought it should, and I shouldn't be praised. I'll tell too much for that. <laughs> Lovely. Speaking a bit of northern. Now that was rubbish, northern. I do apologise for the north. How many northerners watch? I don't know. It doesn't tell me geos that accurately. I mean, the UK is my largest audience, so I should expect some of some of you lot to be from the north. But I don't know how many are actually. Okay, back up to sixty. Didn't really need to worry about that fifty. Stopping at Batley. What was it? Batley Morley Leeds. Yes. So I've got Batley, and then all the tunnel, and then Morley straight after that. 
Um, and then there's actually a fair journey through the back end of Leeds. I'm surprised. Oh, well, that sounded a little bit wrong. I'm surprised there aren't any stations through here because if Leeds is a reasonably large city, and, and these are the carriage sidings and everything, I expect this is an old freight hub at one point. Closed or something along the lines of that. Along the lines. Ha, get it? Because it's a funny, funny pun. Funny ha ha. Please, please laugh. Please, uh, please, please laugh. My, 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 <laughs> nah. It's all right. My ego, my smashed ego, will will rebuild itself. I'm joking, of course. New viewers might have a uh, difficult time understanding that I ooze sarcasm to the point where some people who know me very well genuinely can't tell if I'm being sarcastic or not. Sometimes I make it pretty fucking obvious, but other times I won't. Feather the brake a bit there. And there we go. Surely there should be a noise for when they open. No? They just opened it. Can I operate the guards panel from here? Oh, I can too. Okay. Oh, I need to put my key in. Oh, that's the... No, I want you to be... Local to open. What? No, okay. My word. No! Oh, for Christ's sake. Jesus. Right. No more of this silly dilly dally. Let's get on to Morley. Engine. There you go. We've got three miles. Speeding through the tunnel. The tunnel is... What? Still 60. Okay. I hope the tunnel's more than that nowadays. Let's have a look. Morley Tunnel. Morley Tunnel is a railway tunnel in West Yorkshire, England, situated between Morley and uh, and Batley railway stations on the Huddersfield line. So Batley, the station we just came from, was at one time rather larger than it was today. So it used to have several platforms. Hmm. Shut up. No, shut up. Um, so, yeah, Morley Tunnel, three kilometers long. Doesn't say speed limit. Hmm. Well then, I guess I won't know the speed limit. Let's have a look. Huddersfield line. So operated by lots of people. Um, That's really loud. I don't like that. Okay, right. We'll turn that down. I 
I don't like the loud. That's oh, that's that's really properly loud. Right. So this says the Huddersfield line. Upgrade the tracks from Huddersfield to Dewsbury from two to four to electrify the line between Huddersfield and Leeds. So extra two tracks between Huddersfield and Thornhill. Thornhill being where? Not sure. Hmm, okay. Uh, but that hasn't been finished yet, okay. But it looks like it will be electrified at some point, but isn't at the moment, which is good. Electrification is better than hydrogen in every single way possible and hydrogen is not a technology we should look to adopt anywhere near near um, short term for the railways sure cars maybe but y you think hydrogen the whole purpose of putting hydrogen in a tray is like putting petrol in because it explodes but you've got to remember as well that the hydrogen is extremely high pressure um so they can fit lots of it in. I've overcooked this. This doesn't have enhanced brake, does it? No. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, it's not one of my videos without... How, how much overrun? One and a half cars. Okay. That's off. I didn't want off. I wanted backwards. There you go. Um... Yeah, but you put lots of hydrogen, lots of hydrogen in high pressure in a very strong tube and you no longer have a petrol tank, you have a bomb. Um, so, I don't think it's a, it's a great idea and it's, it's unproven, it's still not that clean. Um, and it, it takes more energy to convert, it, it takes more energy to um, create the hydrogen and then burn it again to create power to move a train than it does to just draw power from overhead lines because you've got the extra step. But it's just this refusal to electrify lines because of the upfront capital cost. But it's this whole innovation bullshit you know we can't we can't innovate our way through th that hasn't cleared ah oh uh, ah I thought they'd fixed that turns out they haven't so um we can't really go any further uh well thank you for watching then <laughs> Um, oh, it's been half an hour already. Thank you very much for watching, then. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, and apologies for the fuck-up on my part.